A 29-year-old man is back home tonight after police say that the actions of a drunk driver put him in the hospital. He still has a long road to recovery ahead of him on top of a mountain of hospital bills he's now facing. Fox 12's Amel Elhel spoke with one of his friends looking to alleviate some of that burden. She has the story live from downtown Portland tonight. Amel. Well, a GoFundMe page was started by one of his friends to help manage some of those medical bills, though. As we learned tonight, he's not the type of person to ask for help. He's always been a very, very humble and kind person. Anyone in need, he would always be the first one to be like, hey, do you need help? I'm here. It's that same kindness. Elisa Sabova is hoping the community will be able to return to her friend of eight years, Nariman Mosharoff. He said that they just saw this like bright light coming at them very fast. That's when the drunk driver drove into them. This is the scene from February 10th on Southwest Columbia Street in NATO Parkway when police say 46-year-old Jacob Tabor crashed into Mosharoff's car, which was stopped at a red light. He had two other friends with him. All three men were taken to the hospital, but 23-year-old Wael Zahran, who was pinned in the back seat, didn't survive. That friend's mother is back in his country. She wasn't able to make it to the funeral, and the funeral was actually on his birthday. The other passenger was treated and released, but as for Mosharoff, he's dealing with a brain bleed, concussion, punctured liver, and had to have surgery on his lungs. So when we were visiting him, you could just tell he wasn't able to properly breathe. He had to have the machine, breathing machine on, and he was just always saying, like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, and just pointing at his chest. While the 29-year-old is slowly working to recover from his injuries, he's also now facing a mountain of medical bills. He's not allowed to go to work right now for at least two months, but we don't know how long that's going to take for him to heal. I made the GoFundMe. I started posting everyone, asking people to post it just because he is going to have a lot of medical bills, and unfortunately, there's no insurance help at all. Sabova is now hoping the community will pitch in to help her friend get back on his feet. It's just like something that you never really think about until it happens to you. And so when it happens to someone that's so close to you, I think it's almost as sad, if not more sad, just because you know you can't help. I just really hope, you know, at least with a GoFundMe, it helps somehow, some way for him to not even, you know, to release the stress a little bit. The driver, police say, is responsible for the crash. 46-year-old Jacob Tabor is facing charges of manslaughter, assault, DUI, reckless driving, and criminal mischief, all of which he pleaded not guilty to. We are waiting to learn his next court date. Live in downtown Portland, I'm Al-Hal, Fox 12, Oregon.